Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today is not a review video. It's just a bit of a fun uh, video. I had a bit of a, or I'm having a bit of a Seiko fanboy moment. Um, just going through some reviews, doing some watches, etc. I put some watches on the table and then I thought, wow, I've just got the ultimate vintage Seiko divers collection. Um, far left, 62. Yeah, that's not meant to happen. But anyway, this has just been put in temporarily. Uh, far left, the 62 mass from Heimdallah. And then next to it, I've got the 6105-8000 case uh, from Rodune Rotangula. Just reviewed this watch not long ago. So we're starting off in the 60s here. Moving on to the 70s, um, then this is my first version Steel Dive 6105. Right next to it, I've got a one that I built myself, all black PVD 6105 with a black Heimdallah dial and then the bronze 6105. It's, you know, it's the only reason these watches are popular. I know people like to slate Seiko. Um, and, and the new stuff, no doubt, they deserve it. Um, but you've got to just give props and give credit to Seiko for this is the history here. You know, it's only because that these cases existed that these homage brands, this China market uh, could do all this. And that's, you know, one of the great things about homage watches or watches from China. I think there's still a lot of people out there that don't understand. I think just the name puts them off. But to have this you know, uh, original Seikos, you're looking at a few thousand pound, you know, combined. Uh, and then, you know, the specs aren't there really. Uh, and the condition is going to be very difficult to get, you know, mint condition, 62 mass, mint condition, Captain Willard's, mint condition, uh, you know, your 6105, 8000s. Um, and so just making a video on it, I think just together, they just look fantastic. Uh, and it's a very, you know, it's not a rare thing because you can get them, but as a Seiko lover, Seiko fanboy, I think this is just ultimate right here. I'll just quickly roll out options available if you want to buy any of them. Uh, I'll put a few links in the description. So 62 mass, um, I reviewed the Steel Dive one, just released. I would personally go for the Heimdallah or the San Martin. Uh, those are the two closest to the actual, well, none of them are in terms of the diameter and the actual dimensions as the 62 mass originally was a very, it's quite a small watch, sorry. Uh, and then for the 8,000, um, I don't I'm trying to think if I've seen anyone else do them, but this one was from Redune uh, Rectangula. 6105s, literally you've got so much to choose from. This is the Steel Dive. I think uh, the Steel Dive is the best value for money hands down they do have a few qc issues so if you want to you know go slightly higher look at the heim dollars the heim dollars do uh, a few different um you know color combinations uh, the watches do look slightly different and then you've also got um san martin which are i think at the top of the price range there between san martin and heim dollar i don't really see much of a difference um, but with Steel Dive, it's definitely a great place to start. I mean, you should know about these by now. Uh, Steel Dive are absolutely killing it with this model here. But just have a look at this lineup. Ultimate old school Seiko dive watches. Anyway, hope you like it. Just a quick random video um, sharing just some of that enthusiasm with all the subscribers. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you for the next video.